Our next identities are called the power reducing identities, and here they are. Basically, it takes things that are squared, like sine squared, cosine squared, or tangent squared, and rewrites them in terms of no power greater than one. So, let's use these to rewrite some trig expressions in terms of no power greater than one, starting with sine cubed theta. Now you might notice that this is a cube which does not align with any of our power reducing formulas. So your first goal is going to be to rewrite your trig expression in terms of something squared so you can apply these identities. We can write this as sine cubed theta equals sine squared theta times sine theta. The reason we did that is because since we have this sine squared, we can apply this sine squared theta identity. If I do that, this sine squared theta is going to turn into 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2, which is just our power reducing identity. And we also have to still multiply by this sine theta. Let's go ahead and simplify from there. I'm going to have to distribute this sine theta out. That's going to give me sine theta minus sine theta cosine 2 theta all over 2. Now we've rewritten this trick expression. Nothing has any power greater than 1, so we are done. Let's try the same thing with cosine to the 4th x. Remember, our first goal, let's rewrite this as powers of 2 so we can apply these power reducing identities. What if we change this to cosine squared x squared? Right? Cosine squared x squared would be cosine to the fourth x, so we can do that. And now we can apply the cosine squared identity. Doing that, we'll get 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 all squared. Now we just need to work that out. Squaring that, we'll get 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 times 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. We'll need to distribute everything. That'll give us 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta plus cosine squared 2 theta. All right. This time, we've got to take it a little bit further because we still have a power of 2 here. We haven't rewritten everything in powers of 1. But what we can do is we can take this cosine squared and again apply our power reducing identity cosine squared theta. Doing that, this cosine squared theta will turn into 1 plus cosine 4 theta over 2. Notice our power reducing identity doubles this cosine theta right here to cosine 2 theta. Since we already have 2 theta, that's why it becomes 4 theta. Now, it looks like we have everything in powers of 1, but we definitely need to simplify. So, I've got this weird fraction here. What we could do is clear that out. Let's times the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. Doing that, we'll get 2 plus 4 cosine 2 theta plus 1 plus cosine 4 theta all over 8. Notice this 2, of course, had to distribute across it, canceled here, and then this 4 times 2 just gave us an 8. Finally, let's go ahead and combine our like terms. It looks like we can combine this 2 and this 1. That'll give us 3 plus 4 cosine 2 theta plus cosine 4 theta all over 8. And it doesn't look like we have any more powers bigger than 1 so that's going to be our answer.